Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, time to do another What's New in Transformers. Heck yeah. Love talking about new stuff. Don't have it in hand, just like to chit chat. So as always, sit back and relax and let's talk about some freaking Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right, up first as always, add on kids, add on kids, add on kids for days, but no new add on kids, man. Golly. But let's move on to third party legends. Looks like we get some free head from Dr. Woo Woo Woo. Yeah, new RC heads will be sent to all agents. If you have purchased it before, you need to replace it. You can apply at the store where you purchased it with the order number. Uh, you are responsible for the uh, shipping and handling. You can buy other products and send them together. The effect will be much better replacing it. So yeah, this is from the RC uh, mold from the uh, Dr. Wu and Mechanic Studios. Uh, I think from last year, they had the Shattered Glass version, they had the Nightbird, they had a you know White Ninja version and everything. So yeah, if you want some free head, then get, reach out to your agent, whoever you bought it from, and with the order number, and they'll send you out some uh, new stuff. So really good stuff. <laughs> Great head. <laughs> Giggity. And we got some in-hand picks of the Iron Factory Girls IFG-01 Starwing. I uh, just uh, talked about this last week. They showed the box and everything, but now we got some new ones. Our new, you know, in-hand picks and everything. This is kind of the cosplay kind of thing going on with the uh, Seekers. Uh, they got Thundercracker and Sky Warp as well. Uh, these don't transform. They're just uh, like an anime girl with the, uh, you know, with the Starscream kind of a, you know, motif going on. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Got this on our, just ordered this from uh, Show Z. So, hopefully, she'll be getting it probably a week or two or something. But yeah, this is Iron Factory Girls IFG01 Starwing. And, uh, yeah, get my collection. Let's go. And also from Dr. Woo Woo Woo, we got the uh, wor uh, Dr. Woo Workshop Movie Collectors MC04 Einstein. Uh, this is known as Brains. And uh, we got some more pics of this, and it looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of stuff on the back. You know, he does carry the uh, whole laptop on him. But, yeah, pretty cool. I, I got this on pre order as well through uh, Show Z. Can't wait to get it. The colors look really nice on him, too, as well. And uh, I like that he transforms into the uh, laptop. That's pretty cool. So there you go. That is Dr. Woo Woo Woo, Movie Collector's Einstein. This is Brains. All right. Hurry up and get my collection. And we got some in-hand picks of MPH Studios MPH-S02T. This is Commander. This is the Toxitron version. And uh, yeah, I just ordered the MPH Studios Optimus Prime. And uh, yeah, I might get this one too as well. I think they got a Nemesis as well. I showed that off uh, last week. Uh, this looks pretty good. I love the color of the axe and everything. It looks very posable. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, this is MPH Studios. This is their Commander and this is their Toxitron version. And yeah, looks pretty neat on Petito. Let's go. All right, let's move on to MP third party news and Star Toys ST02 on a flight stand. This is their tracks. Now, I don't know what the flight stand actually comes with him, um, but he can, you know, I guess he may at least get an adapter so he can go on a flight stand. It'd be pretty cool if they do throw in the flight stand because it looks pretty cool. I'm really, really excited for this. Another, you know, masterpiece tracks. The MP, you know, the, you know, Takara version was. Eh, you know, kind of meh. So I'm glad we're getting an update on this. So I'm really excited for this. So there you go. There's Star Toys ST02 ST on a flight stand. Man, I cannot wait to get tracks of my collection. Golly, let's go. All right. So last week, I think I showed a silhouette of this. This is the Big Firebird. This is a EX-03 Nacha. And I have no idea who this is. Maybe Black Rachne if she was a you know Egyptian princess or something or a queen or something. I don't have no clue what this is or what stand or what's supposed to be, uh, but it looks freaking awesome. I'm really excited for this. I cannot. I'm uh, definitely gonna get this because I like the uh, the nice and uh, they got a wind blade coming as well. And then they got Nache. I guess uh, Nacha. I guess is what they call her. Uh, yeah, it says it's a sun god group or something like that. So I guess it's like you know, some kind of sun god uh, thing. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's got like, you know, eight arms or legs or something looks like from, it looks like black arachnia as a, you know, Egyptian princess or something. So pretty cool. So this is Big Firebird Toys and this is EX-03 Nacha. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get this in my collection. Looks pretty good. And it looks like Bingo Toys giving us a Transmetal 2 female version of uh, their Megatron from uh, Beast Wars. So this says, Happy New Year. Uh, this is on pre-order at Show Z Store. I didn't know anything about this, so I'm definitely going to have to get this because I love some bingo toys. So there you go. A Happy New Year or Year of the Dragon. We're getting a Transmetal 2 uh, female version of their uh, Megatron from Beast Wars. Awesome. Transmetal 2. Good stuff. All right, let's move on to official Transformer news, and we got new picks of Killer Body. This is Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal Wearable Helmet Collection Voice Changer. All right, so you get one with the face mask, and you get the without the face mask. 
So that's pretty cool. And it lights up, it looks like that, and it has a voice changer. So that's awesome. So this is Killer Body. This is Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal Wearable Helmet Collectible Voice Changer. All right, good stuff, man. Going to Halloween. All right. That was my dog snoring. Jeebus. <laughs> hey, it looks like we got official images and information on Renegade Game Studios Transformers Robo Rally board game. So the new Transformer themed board game was announced in August of 2023, but no image of the details were revealed. Now we not only have images of the games and tokens, but the official product description and pre-orders. The board game is packed is going to be $55 and scheduled to be released of May of 2024, so pretty soon. So that's pretty cool. I'll put the uh, you know everything in the description for the links if you want to pre-order this. So we got official images of the Renegade Games, a Renegade Game Studios Transformers Robo Rally board game. All right, that's a mouthful. Yeah, we got some in-hand images of Legacy United Voyager Origins Will Jack. So we have clear shots official redition of Will Jack in a Cybertronian form. Robot mode is quite accurate while showing a big backpack, really big, uh, due to all the uh, panels needed to get in his alt mode. Talking about a Cybertronian vehicle mode, it looks like quite solid and cartoon accurate. We also have images showing how uh, Origins Bumblebee will fit inside the alt mode. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, man, yeah, like that backpack is huge. So there you go. We got in-hand images of Legacy United Voyager Origins Wheeljack, and I think he was also found in stores as well. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to get mine. And we got some new stock images of Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Gears. The figure is very nice, modern uh, incarnation of G1 Gears in both robot and alt mode. This time we have some fancy shots with the dark, uh, the new dark rocky background showing off his robot pulsability and the weapon storage in alt mode. So very cool. So I think it comes, they show the box. I think the uh, chest actually comes separate. Uh, so you can, you don't have to take it off or you can put it back on and everything. So that's pretty cool. So uh, it looked like, it looked like somebody like stole some stuff because, or stole it. Uh, but I think that it just comes off and everything. So yeah, I think they actually found this in stores as well, maybe. I think. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. But there you go. Stock images of Legacy United Deluxe Gears. And we got our first official image of the Hot Wheels Skate Transformers. These are Transformer themed figure skateboards, which include a pair of finger sneakers. <laughs> we have images of Hot Wheels Skate Megatron, Starscream, and Soundwave. No Autobot versions yet. Each one is priced about $29.99, and uh, which is about is about $8.12, and you know it's $29.99 in souls, which I don't know what that is, but which is about $8.12. Uh, the second, uh, this is the second Hasbro Mattel collaboration following the previous uh, Uno Flip Transformers as well. So there you go. First official images of Hot Wheels Skate Transformers. All right, that's correct. So Legacy United Way Deluxe Gears, Chromie, and Shard was found in Singapore. And like I said, uh, while you may think Gears looks incomplete in the package, the unpinned chest piece is now in the paper bag accessories. So yeah, it's not stolen or anything like that. It's just one of the accessories. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, happy hunting. So on sad news, Transformers movie writer Rod Friedman has cancer and needs our help. Uh, so it looks like known Transformer fans around the world is writer of the Transformers movie from 1986 and the writer and editor on Transformer Generation 1, in addition to scripting the miniseries for G.I. Joe, The Real American Hero. He has cancer and needs our help. Uh, Ron and Val have this wife for 51 years. Uh, they have mounting bills and everything. So um, they have a GoFundMe. I'm going to put it in the description if you want to go help them. You know, that'd be really nice. So there you go. Transformers movie writer Rod Freeman has cancer and needs our help. So that really sucks. And last thing we're going to talk about, Transformers G1 and Earthspark ceramic mug with chocolate egg images. So these happy Easter packs made by Park Avenue, uh, Australian base, contains a ceramic mug with big chocolate milk egg, with a big milk chocolate egg. The Transformer G1 mug features classic Marvel comic art and G1 inspired packaging. The Earthspark mug has got Optimus Prime art and packaging featuring the main, Earth, main Earthspark Autobot and packaging shown the main Autobot and human characters. So yeah, happy Easter if you want to get one of these. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, happy hunting too as well. Well, all right, folks, that's all of this week for news. And once again, not a whole lot. Man, I, I can't wait to hear something new from like New Age, Magic Square, Fans Toys, anything. I know we, you know, they've been showing some stuff at, you know, TFCon and everything, but I want to see some new stuff. It'd be pretty cool. But, you know, that Dr. Woo Woo Woo, that brains looks pretty good. The uh, Big Fire Bird, uh, the Sun God, whatever that is, looks pretty cool. You know, you got the wheel jacks, looks pretty nice. So, you know, there's some good stuff coming out here and still, once again, a great time to be a Transformer collector. So hit those like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Are you excited for anything? Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next What's New in Transformers. As always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and good night, folks.